Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another late night edition of Idea Junkie, where we are continuing with Dark Souls 3 and the Ascended Challenge. Uh, oh, what the hell? I'm getting an error message on YouTube already. Let me see what's going on here. Uh, stream cannot be created. Try to get on. But yeah, welcome, guys. Hopefully, everybody out there is having a great evening unfortunately this is gonna be a late one because i was unable to jump on earlier i've been actually i've had like a very 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 busy week but it's something i had to uh jump on to today i couldn't go yet again without actually jumping on i can't go two days while streaming but i uh, yeah, hope everybody's having a good evening out there like i said i know this is a late one but hey better late than ever but yeah, it's freaking, at least it's Friday though, so it's all good. It's Friday, and hey, I'm off tomorrow, so let's take advantage of that opportunity. We'll see, we'll see how long we'll stream though. We'll see, we'll see how long I can keep up before uh, you know, I fall asleep, because <laughs> it is late. It's a 9.48 p.m. right now, my time, so yeah, definitely late, but like I said, we're gonna try to make the best of it. But let me set up a chat chat box, and we will jump right into the action what up silence how are you bro good to see you man hope you're doing excellent and yes you're right it is super late my friend super late indeed sometimes you know what i mean that's just the way it is man you can't always have things as you want them you just gotta freaking adapt and do what you gotta do my friend and that's what we're gonna do tonight as we attempt to take out aldrich uh, I, I played against him a little bit uh, I think before yesterday and uh, gave me a little bit of trouble but I think I think I have an idea I remember what was wrecking me oh yeah the flame attack he has this he leaves his flames behind and it absolutely destroys me so I gotta figure out how to increase I think my flame defense needs to be needs to be better let's see let's see if we can make any additional adjustments and I'm good silence I'm good bro I really can't complain. Like I said, other than, other than just being busy, you know, I'm I'm all good, bro. I, I I seriously can't complain. You know, it's just one of those things where you know you get busy sometimes, but like I said, what can you do? You know, like I said, we gotta adapt. I gotta bounce back. That's what we gotta do. What up, Sauce? Good to see you, bro. Good evening. Good evening. Hope we're doing excellent as well, bro. All right, let me see. But yeah, we're gonna go for some fire defense. Let's see if we can find something that will actually improve that for us. We currently have this thing, huh? Interesting. Why is my faith like turning blue like if there's going to be some kind of change to it? You see that? Like it's it's just dirty over and over again. But yeah, let's go find some flame defense. This looked like it was pretty good. Leave that alone. What's this? Oh, the yeah, the Wing Knight armor set actually does provide us with significant defense, but uh, yeah, it's too heavy. Too freaking heavy. I think we're just gonna probably end up with the helmet. We'll go from there. See what we can do. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Leave that as is. Damage absorption. I don't know if I, if I want to change this. I'm trying to remember what I use against the old Demon King to uh, minimize our damage. Dark damage. Bleed resistance. Hmm. HP, stamina, and maximum equipped load, huh? Now, you said that we'll, we'll keep it as this. So, we changed the helmet. Hopefully, it'll give us uh, additional defense here. Actually, you know what I could do? Is there a better weapon we can use? How about that? This will put us over the weight limit. I wonder if he's resistant to Wolnir's. On your sword. I'm 
thinking no, because it is. Oh, you. What are you doing, dude? He's getting busy. Frostman, you say? I think I think this is as good as it's gonna get for now. Yeah, we'll use some uh, frost resistance. Hopefully that help us. Let's see what happens. All right, I remember this part being annoying. The freaking flame attacks. The beacons. That. That's actually the first time uh, I've been able to dodge. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's the first time I've been able to dodge all their attacks. The Aldrich the Bastard. How much damage is this dude? 1490. So it's not worth Only because the spell does take some time to, uh, to utilize. Did, but yeah, he's tough. He is freaking tough. You know what it is? His little spells, they have incredible, incredible lock on. And well, actually, you know something? I take that back. The lock on isn't that great. Um, it just does a lot of damage. Oh, the ma the the music is too loud. Oh, the sound effects are too loud. All right, let me uh. One second. I, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Fortune, there's no pause button. I'll try to make it happen. a little bit um i don't know what it is but it's always like this with uh with dark souls 3 the sound is always really really over the top i actually already lowered it in game Alright, I lowered it a little bit, so hopefully, hopefully this helps out, guys. Yeah, like in Dark Souls 3, either the music is very loud, or the sound effects. Well, the sound effects mainly in the, the boss fights, because there's just so much action going on. But yeah, but hopefully this helps, hopefully this helps. Again. 
again. That's fine. Take the arrows. Oh, damn. All right. That normal doesn't do that much damage. I think it was because I was already frosted. Interesting. Yeah, normally, yeah, normally I'm able to absorb that attack of a champ. Oh, you know what I'm not doing? Um... Using anything about resistance. Get off me. There we go. Good sauce. Thank you, bro. I, I appreciate the feedback. Like I said, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Damn, dude. How am I poisoned, dude? Unbelievable, man. Oh, damn. So we're doing this. Dude, almost instant frostbite, dude. Everything's fine. I am kind of curious to know what Aldrich, Aldrich looked like before he became this bastard. It's basically... Yep, I was coming. Steel dude. Watch out, watch out. Oh, get out of here, dude. So, 
this and re horse. That's what we got these for. Oh, the life steal again, dude. What the hell? I'm not sure how much health it gets. There's purple balls in the air. The glass is right here. Alright. Look, look. Just in case. I don't think so. Alright, avoid the flames. Let them come out. Yeah, there you go. a little more patience. Hit him again. We'll take the hit. Oh, damn. Still going. Ooh, watch out, watch out. No life steal for you. Get out of the flame. I freaking dare you. Watch out. Him again. So much damage I did. That is wildly, wildly good. But with the flames. Is he done? He is done. There you go, excellent. Look, he actually dropped something for us too. The oh, Aldrich's uh, ruby. Very, very good. Look at that. He left his uh, remnant purple balls. He used to piss us off. Thanks, Sauce. Yeah, actually, use, I wish I could slice him. That would be pretty freaking awesome. Wow, she, wow, wow. I'm looking at my souls. 850,000. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. I 
he's actually not too bad. Once you learn the resistance buffs and kind of take your time a little bit, he's actually not too bad. He does have a lot of health. But once we learn how to tank their true boss, then we're able to take him out. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, one milli. Man, I don't know if I want to risk it. I actually know what I'm thinking is going to happen. We're probably going to encounter a boss where we will deal, you know, like one million damage. I wouldn't be surprised. What's this? The Sun Princess Ring. All right, so we got two rings. Let's see if they're any good. Remove this one, this one. No flame resistance needed. What up, Ants? How are you, bro? Good evening, good evening. Oh, damn, look at this one. So Aldridge's Ruby gives you significant FP. Look at that. It goes from 220 to 331. Let's, let's see. Recovers HP from critical attacks. I kind of want to see what it looks like. What does this one do? buff this one buffs doesn't really buff it oh wait a minute do they both buff your fp they might it does look at this look at my fp <laughs> that's awesome so that's the uh the hidden buff right there that's pretty awesome but quite frankly I mean, we don't need that much FP. Oh, well, well here, at least not for weapon arts. Weapon arts are, are free. Uh, let's see, we did get another ring. Where is it? The Sun Princess? Where is that at? Here it is. So this, this one gradually restores HP. I wonder by how much. You know, so that, let's equip it. Test it out. All right, we'll play around with this. Let's get out of here. To Fire Link, let's go. Actually, let's let you know what we should check first. Let's see what kind of weapon we can acquire. Aha, thou return. And a fine day it is. So, happened upon any twisted souls? By the way, now that I'm done with the boss, right, let me put the sound back to where it was. All right. So now we're going to acquire, there it is, the Life Hunt site. Steal HP of foes using an illusory scythe and what's the other one? Dark Moon Longbow. Longbow of Dark Moon Gwendolyn. So we can acquire both actually. Yeah, Soul of Outridge. Outridge. Look at this. 50-50 to use the Chaos Bed Vestiges. I hope that's good. Soul of Straight Demon. I don't know if this is any good. 
Hello, street demon. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and acquire this? Grab that. And the bow. It does, but I'm curious to know what's better because, unfortunately, I only have one soul of stray demon remaining. So I can only pick either the boulder, demon's fist, or uh, this one right here, Havel's ring. I do wonder if this has any uh, hidden effects too. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say, Lord Slayer? Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of lordship. And all slain by thy hand to bind them to their thrones, even in death. Oh, I have no qualms. For as we are to our thrones, thou art to thy duty. In fact, methinks thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path. Now, now. All right, there you go. All right, let's uh, let's level up. There's one weapon that I'm actually pretty anxious to start using, and it is this one right here. But it requires 65 dex. Sixty-five ducks. Damn. All right. Let's uh let's start putting some stats into that. Forty-five. Farewell, Ashen. Oh, interesting. The Wolf Knight's greatsword increases your your intelligence by five points. Okay. So for now, we'll utilize this muscle puppy. Just for the pure damage. There you go. I think... I don't think there's anything else that we're looking for here. Yeah, we got everything. Everything that we need, at least. Um, we'll buy those. Goodbye. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to our next challenge here. Let's go to... Nope. I just go to the prison tower. I'll see if uh, Yorshka will talk to so us. Last time I was talking to her, she just wouldn't talk to me. So maybe... Let's see if something has changed. We want to fulfill our duty. Thou thinks to remain. This tower is a prison. I bid thee leave. Yeah, what the hell? There is no option to, like, join her. I'm, I'm assuming that's mod-specific, because I've never had that issue before. It has to be mod-specific. She's just here enjoying the view. Quite a view it is. Take her out. out. Nah. Not Yorshka. I, I can't do that to her. I like her too much. Thou thinks to remain. This tower is a prison. We're not gonna make the the modder do the unthinkable. Let her be. <laughs> yeah, but but I do wanna what was the what was, what was so what's the benefit of her staying around? What do you mean prevent online? 
I know that if you give her... Because here's the thing. We actually did pick up... Where did, was it? Let's see. There's something we picked. I think they're the ears of reprisal. Oh, here. This right here. Proof of comp Concord. So this is what you give her. And we picked them up. We picked up 30. And that would be more than enough to actually get the quest item. But now we can't give it to her because we're unable to join her. So that is pretty annoying. So I don't know. I don't know why Van did that. I have no idea. Let's go to Rosaria's chamber. Yeah, it's just weird that like there there really is no reason to break her. Yeah, yeah, normally you get them from online co-op, but this time around, uh Van just left them there for us to to actually use. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm as confused as you guys are. What sucks is that we don't have any more pale tongues to respect our character. That, that I mean, I hope that doesn't come back and bite us in the ass later. All right, so that doesn't work. There is one quest item that we can acquire though, right here. So we do have the wolf grass. We have thirty of them. I don't remember what the plus item is for this. We'll find out. Watch dog of Aaron. The sword grass. Boom. Just give them all 30. There it is. Oh, good. Because we get the old wolf curved sword. The wolf ring and the wolf knight screen shield. That's awesome. Beautiful. Let's see. Let's check it out. The Great Sword of Judgment. That's actually not it. Uh, um. Oh, here it is. So this thing does... Oh, this thing scales with decks. You saw that the base... I mean, it's decent. It's a uh, flame-based. But it just doesn't compare to the fume. The fume greatsword. It doesn't compare. Curved sword bearing the soul of an old wolf that's... Stays with the watch dogs of Farron. The sword like a wolf on the prowl boosts attacks and restores HP with each consecutive hit. So it probably has some pretty cool buffs, even though it doesn't have uh, it's the same damage as this one. Okay. Actually, let me see what it looks like. Look at this thing. That's kind of cool. That's a weapon art. That's pretty cool. Yep. Definitely. That blood, blood hound. It's got the blood hound uh, step back. Pretty cool. I like it. So yeah, we'll play around with this. It looks, it looks like fun. Hold on. There was one. Oh, yeah. I remember now. There is one more. Here it is. 
Yeah, one more covenant that we have all the uh, requirements to get the required, required items. Let's see how? Let's see what reward we get here. So we get the Great Deep Soul and the Archdeacon's Great Staff. There it is. 122 spell buff. Hey, what's up, Whitney? How are you? Oh, the static is back. All right. Thanks for letting me know, Ants. I'll, I'll fix that later. Oh, how annoying. It comes and goes. You saw that? It's not as good as the Bloodhound Bang. Like, the step back just isn't uh, that significant. What up, Steven? How are you, bro? Good to see you, my friend. Now, the question is, Whitney, was the ending satisfactory for you? Was it, was it, would you expect it or did you want more out of it? Let's go, let's go back again. I'm, I'm going to try one more time. time. We're going to try to convince her. To do business with us. Yeah, that that is a that is a sad moment. Thou very, very true. To remain this town, I be yeah, may nothing. the dark moon. Oh, no, I, I don't get it. Why doesn't Yorshka like us? Tonight, what are we doing? Uh, we are gonna actually head down to uh, what is it, the, the prisons? I forget, what, I forget what the area is called. Where is it at? Water reserve? No. It's actually here. Oh, yeah. We're going to be heading towards the distant manor in a little bit. Well, well you know, what they, they did that only because I, I think they're, they're they're trying to open things up to create, like, uh, expansions. That, that That's the only reason they did that. So like that, you know, they can expand upon, well, they can, they can do like little side games. So now you have like, you know, obviously uh, Kratos and Freya. You got Atreus and his own journey with uh, the girl. That That's all that is. I, I, think, they're, I think they're trying to do like different uh, spin-offs of the game. This one right here is the old uh, old wolf curve source. Pretty pretty cool actually. The moose set is pretty awesome. Look at this. Look at that. What does that remind you of? Pretty awesome. Thou thinks to this town, I bid thee. Yeah, she still doesn't like us. So annoying. No, I agree. I agree. Yeah, Brock dying was a pretty sad moment. But you know something? I wasn't surprised that he died because you notice how we go through that one quest line where we spend time with them 
and I, lo I love it when he actually blesses the spear. That that was actually one of my favorite moments in the game, when Brock actually like opened. Up. Actually, both Brock and Kratos like opened up to each other, and that moment was actually one of the best in the game. All right, let's go to the Distant Manor. All right, so here we are. We're gonna head towards the profane capital. That's the plan. What the hell? You see this? I am losing health. Why is that? What is going on here? Is it because of the weapon? I'm not sure. Or is it because of one of these rings? This ring is supposed to gradually just store my HP and instead I'm losing HP. Damage isn't that significant. I mean, quite frankly, um, out of course, had like a lot of uh, good characters. Wooden, obviously, one of them. But there's a lot of good moments in that game. Damn, what to freaking get? Right. The invader. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Let's change the weapons here. Oh, and it's here. Unkindled. Unkindled kind of comes and goes, you know. He does his own thing. He's busy with, uh, with school. Damn, he one shots you? Bro. That's gonna be a freaking problem. Wow. All right, so you saw it looks like it was actually the weapon that was. Yeah, it looks like it was the weapon that was destroying my health. See how this goes, man. The Arizona Coyotes. Now, Arizona Coyotes, is that a hockey team? I don't watch a lot of hockey, so. It's kind of my guess here. Salt Lake City. Now, the question is, why are they leaving? I'm assuming there's probably more money to generate it. Salt Lake City. Because that's generally the only the main reason why you can do Actually, out here in Chicago, there's been talks that the Chicago White Sox might be moving from the south side. I think they're still going to stay in the city. But they're actually leaving the stadium, which is kind of crazy because that stadium is actually a beautiful stadium. I've been to it before. Then obviously we're like in danger of losing the Chicago Bears. But I think, I think they're actually planning on staying now. Oh, they went broke. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's always financial reasons. That's why a hockey team will leave. That's crazy. They were playing in a college rink. Bro, yeah, that, that that's rough. That's really rough. <laughs> you 
Yeah, I know, Steven. Yeah, somebody just told me that my mic uh, keeps doing that static thing. Like, I fixed it in my last stream, and for whatever reason, it came back today. I don't know why. Let me try something real quick. Yeah, I, I unplugged it and plugged it back in. I don't know if it'll help. Alright. Damn. That's wild, bro. That is wild. Alright, let me know, guys, if you... Th you guys still hear that static sound? Like it, it's one thing when the when the team wants to leave, and it's another thing when the team is forced to leave. Oh, it's still there. All right, all right. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I won't be able to fix it while I'm streaming because. It's like a whole ordeal trying to get that fixed. The only thing I can do, let me see. Let me see let me see if that helps so what i did i lowered the volume because I'm, I'm wondering if maybe the sound is too loud on my mic so let me know if that helps what the hell let's try backstab him i don't know why <laughs> First person souls is I would try it. I don't know if I would like it. I mean, I mean, souls is intended to be played third person I mean, it would be an interesting experience I guess I guess, I guess it would be one of those things where I, I would I would have to find out that they, they actually did a good job and actually made it work as intended So, so the volume didn't do anything, huh? That sucks. No, you know what it is? I, I think it's my OBS. I, I did an update the other day. And when I did the update, this this issue started to arise. So, I need to just like some adjustments to it.
No, I know. No, trust me. I, I, I know the sound. I've had this issue before. No, it's not enchanted. It's just... Well, I guess technically it is. But it's a permanent stat. It's a, it's a permanent stat boost to uh, the weapon. Quite frankly, any, any advantage we can get, I welcome it in this mod. all over the place. What the hell? Get out of here. I guess you come out and play. Well, actually, Steven, there are mods that uh, do this, actually. It's pretty cool. So, the same modder has, like, the same effects in the Elden Ring. In the Elden Ring version of this mod. Unfortunately, like, like this mod is tough. The Elden Ring one is like much, much worse. Much more, much more painful. Bro, like mods are what uh, give us these gifts. That's what it is, man. Unfortunately, uh, we'll see this in another game, bro. Uh, you, need, you need a modder to bring us these uh, unique experiences. Play mods at all, Steven? Or are you like a console player? Oh, you're on console. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta jump on PC, man. It, it takes your, your favorite games to a whole nother level. Poison that toxin. All right. Yeah, convergence, ascension. 
That's actually uh, Ascension. That's the one that I played. And it's actually the same modder who did this one right here. Ascended for Dark Souls 3. Get out of here. Ascension though, oh, bro, it's it's uh, it's, it's uh, the, the the no mercy mod. Oh come on, there you go. Give the poke of truth. This guy's ready to roll. Go nowhere. Well, if you install the mod, the mod basically is the one that does all of the adjustments. So I don't, I don't do any adjustments myself. I just simply install the mod and just play it how it is. Oh, basic FP regen. You something, and there might be one that does that already, bro. So I don't even have to waste your time doing it. I just reward that I've seen something like that. Oh, you know what you could do, Ant? You could play Ascension. Ring. That one has uh, FP regeneration. And you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Lots and lots of fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. On console, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, there, there's no comparison. Like, on console, you're, you're completely limited on what you can do. Absolutely. What's this? Wake up. Can we survive this? Oh, wow. Shocked. Thought I was dead for sure. Does convergence have regeneration? I don't remember, Ant. I don't remember. I think it does. I mean, better than regeneration would be just completely eliminating the FP bar. That'd be even better. You know, like if, if you want to go that route, just completely eliminate it. Like no, any any, any a spell or weapon art that requires FP is now free. Oh, you missed it, Steven. I started the stream with a boss fight. I, I defeated Aldrich. Oh, 
Oh, just charges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be dope, actually. But it's, it's all about just equipping them. That would be pretty awesome. Bird, baby bird. This weapon is so... It's just so OP. I love it. Just the way it looks, it's just so... I don't know. It brings me much, much satisfaction. This has always been one of my favorite weapons in Dark Souls. Ever since, ever since it was introduced in Dark Souls 2. We can love this thing. Yeah, Elgin Marine was the first Souls game where you could jump. And no, in, in Dark Souls 1, basically spells are kind of like, uh, it's almost like using items. That's kind of how it works. So basically you get a spell and it'll have, let's say, like, like 20 charges to it. You know, kind of like, like, it's almost like, it's almost like an item. And you can use it as many times, as, you can use it as many times, as, as much as you want. As long as you still have charges on it. That's kind of how it works. But they eventually got rid of it because there, there's, like, there's actually ways to exploit it. Well, yeah, the other Souls games didn't have jump, but it, it's, I mean, I don't know. I, it's, it's almost hard for me to classify it as, as a real jump, like Elder Ring. Like, like it was more like a, more like a leap board or something. It was like, like, like Elder Ring had the first, like, real jump mechanic. You know, like for example, like I'll show you, I'll show you what a Dark Souls three jump is. This is Dark Souls. This is this is a FromSoft jump. See this? That's a jump. But it's it's not a real jump. Like you can't jump on top of things. You know.
So for example, like you, you see this right here, if we're, if we're playing Eldering, I'll be able to press jump and get on top of that. Here, I can't do that. This is all I can do. So it's very, very different. So I'm able to do this. You gotta watch out for the rats. They want to be dangerous. Excellent. This one right here is an imposter. Take that. That. Oh, wow. Let's stop. Get out of here. Excellent. Dunk pie, my favorites. Oh, why is the sword not burning? It's like a glitch, bro. So if I do this, put it away, and then bring it back. See how see how the flame comes back? It's just a it's a glitch in the mod. No, death blight wasn't a thing in the other from soft games, but what you did have what you did have was curse. Curse was instant death. Oh what the hell dude? Do something? We gotta get the hell out of here. Excellence. Yeah, so, so basically it does the same thing. It just needs something different. Well, yeah, Scarlet Rot would be toxic in Dark Souls 3. What's up? Never die. How are you, bro? Welcome. <laughs> no, no. It, I think after Dark Souls 1, Curse was just death. But yeah, it didn't give you like a permanent... 
permanent uh, punishment to your health. Dark Souls 2 remake. Is that the barrel? I think Dark Souls 2, <laughs> excuse me, is worthy of remake. It would be awesome if they were to redo Dark Souls 2 and actually change the fight mechanics. That would be pretty awesome, actually. I would love to see that. Like, just get rid. But, like, basically, uh, put Dark Souls 3 fight mechanics into Dark Souls 2. Can you imagine that? That would be amazing. Now, that would be, like, a true remake. No, 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 not at all. I might be underleveled. So the thing about this mod is that there are some balancing issues. So for example, like normal enemy types, I'm able to destroy like with ease. But then if I if I come across like a boss or like an NPC, he could potentially one shot me. So no, no, not really. Night scale, very nice, very nice. Ha! Was well, it for, for a lot of people? Dark Souls Two is their favorite Souls game, but you, you know why though? It's because for a lot of people, Dark Souls Two is like their first Souls. Ooh, that's kind of scary. But that first, their first Soul game. So I, I can, can kind of see where they come from. But yeah, Dark Souls 2 is just not that great when it comes to the combat. Like, like for example, for me, my favorite one of the Souls games is Dark Souls 1. But I, even I know that technically Dark Souls 2 is the same game. The combat is just way better. It's just a more polished game. The combat just more polished, bro. Um, like for example, like in Dark Souls Two, like the the combat is very clunky. Like it's kind of hard to describe. You kind of gotta play for yourself to like tell what the difference is. But like like on the surface, it look the games look the same, but the controls are very very different. And yeah, it's, it's just a clunky combat system in two, and then Dark Souls One is like a little stiff a little stiff it, like, like it's funny because dark souls 1 was okay that they took a step back in dark souls 2 with the clunkiness and then dark souls 3 fixed all the issues yeah there's there's some issues with the hitboxes i mean it's not it's not horrible 
but there there are some issues here and there. Yeah, the gangfest too. Like, like the bosses aren't as good as Dark Souls three and one. All right, uh, we're missing uh, a pair of keys here. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think we gotta go back. There's like uh, some cells we gotta open. I think the key that we're looking for might be there. Let's see. Worst online Souls game? Oof. It's between two and one. The thing is that, that Dark Souls 1 had this thing. It was like an invisible backstab, and a lot of people knew how to do this like trick. Where they would get like instant backstabs, and the Dark Souls too, like the Dark Souls was just clunky. So between Dark Souls one and two, it's one of those things where it's like pick your poison, you know. There was a lot of exploits in Dark Souls one, a lot of exploits. And then in part two, they eliminated the, the exploits, but then you got the clunkiness to deal with. But combat in Dark Souls 3 was decent. Not bad. Not bad. The, the thing about PvP in Dark Souls games is that it, it's, it's hard to keep it interesting, at least the PvP. Like, after a while, you will get bored of it because it, it's just not sophisticated enough. It works, but you you will get bored after a while. All right, apparently my keys don't freaking work. I don't know why. Yeah, it, you know, it's it's like try try to compare, for example, PvP and Dark Souls, and compare that to PvP like in a actual fighting game it, it's, it's like it's just it's just very 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 different i mean it's, it's a cool feature but they would have to add some other elements in order for the, for the pvp to like be interesting like for example comparing the combat like in dark souls and like, let's say like mortal combat it's like playing it, it's like comparing chess to like ch checkers you know what i mean you're just very limited on the things you're able to do what the hell what's the point of the keys that i grabbed i can't unlock anything all right so i'm missing a pair of keys yeah bloodborne had pvp also Shader keys, but oh, you just have to. I just remember where I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's one area that I didn't check. It's over where I took out the giant. That's where we gotta go. So yeah, let's go. Let's go back down. Yeah, yeah, we're going to the Proving Capital, but I'm trying to uh, get everything here in the uh, in the prison or the dungeon. So yeah, down here, this is what I missed. No, not yet. Not yet. We still got to save him. 
But we won't, yeah, we won't see him until we get to the, uh, to the capital. What the hell, dude? You rat bastard. Oh, yeah. You're always going to do a little bit of backtracking in this game. Awesome. All right, so there's another elevator here. Where does this one go? I forget. I see, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like all the way at the beginning. All right, cool. All right, we're, we're, we're not going to rest, so we don't need to. We're golden. Let's go. All right, we got another mimic. This place is filled with them. Not in this playthrough. Oh, is is that your favorite OST? Never. The Cinder Boss. Oh, never mind. No, this isn't it. Okay. It's fine, though. We'll grab this item anyways. Excellent. We can actually go through here. Which actually doesn't even take us anywhere. There we go. That's as much jumping as we're going to do in this game. There you go. All right, cool. All right, let's go towards the, the profane capital now. Now we're ready. Oh, what's that, Steve? Like a shrine of a mana? You saw the pearl? So do I. So do I. Elden Ring lacks like, dungeons and castles designed like uh, in Dark Souls 3. Well, actually, in any Dark Souls game. Yeah, they do lack that. Oh, the mimic. mimic. I, was, I, I was actually surprised that they didn't uh, have any mimics honestly i thought that, that was gonna be like a thing that would always be in their games you know kind of like patches you know it's just a thing that's always there but yeah i was very surprised by that like all they introduced were the traps but it's just not the same a trap and a mimic, it's, yeah, there's no comparison.
I wonder if maybe they thought that it was getting old, you know, like, like uh, it, it started getting like too gimmicky for them. I wonder. Yes. I agree. I agree. Like, I don't think you can never get old. But yeah, I, I was very, very shocked that not one mimic exists in Elder Ring. I'm trying to think, were mimics... Were mimics in Demon Souls? You said I don't think there were any mimics in Demon Souls, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe they just decided the, that the mimics were going to be just Dark Souls specific. Because I, I don't even think Bloodborne has mimics either. All right, I think. Mimics and Bloodborne? Were there mimics and Bloodborne? I don't remember that. Alright, you said I just realized that there is one thing that we gotta do. Alright, we got the bonfire, so. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just remembered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do this. We're gonna grab another bonfire real quick. Why am I even gonna be able to do it? Let's see. Oh yeah. Actually, no, that's not it. It's not sleep, is it? No, this ain't it. That's the wrong one. No, you said like, we don't have the we don't have the uh, the gesture yet to do it. No, we don't have it yet. There, there's a gesture that you do here. But we, we haven't acquired it yet. And what you do, you do the gesture here. And then it warps you to another location. But yeah, we don't have it yet. So we'll, we'll be back. I thought it was sleep, but no, it's not. You gotta pray. It's a, it's a dragon prayer. That we're missing. But what we're gonna do right now is like we're gonna take out an NPC. See what we could do. We'll just take the shortcut. Ah, how gracious let the I only. <laughs> All right, so now we can buy dunk pies. Interesting. Hmm. We can buy the Xanth Xanthus Satas also. Mjolnir's Crown. All right, we'll buy this one right here. Not much we could buy from here. Earth is like too expensive. But we'll buy the dumb pies. Why not? Oh. I'll buy your pies. Ashen one. They may they may come in handy later. 
Right. Just good to see what need. In other words, where did you happen upon this coal? This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Yet, a smith I remain. I won't turn down a request. But <laughs> forget not. Your fight is You never have enough dunk pies. And for your fellow kitten, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be. But hope remains. Does it not? Hmm. Alright. Reinforce our Estes. Perfect. Alright. Cool. But he kinda he kinda sounded like Elena there. He's trying to lead us in a specific way. Obviously we're gonna take a different path from what he's recommending. Alright, let's go fight this NPC real quick. Last time we fought him, he won't shot him out of me. So yeah, this is gonna be a real problem. Let's see how this goes. You said I, I should probably do something? I should probably get a shield. I'm gonna need it for this. Use that and I need a weapon that I can one hand. Use one ears. So we got uh to swap this out with I thought there was one more in here. All right. All right, here we go. So. There you are. What's up for you? All right, the goal is going to be to push this NPC off the ledge. Can we make it happen? There you are. Wow, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Ooh. Ooh. Watch out, watch out. Alright, dude. What the hell, dude? Seriously. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you can do wield, Steven. You can do wield. Damn. This is going to be tough. What sword is it? This is the Wolnir. Wolnir's holy sword. It's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. It's got an excellent uh, weapon art. What a bad star star. Okay. Oh, this is 
to swing for the fences. again. Go. Oh, dude, I'm gonna need it. So I'm used to weapon art this time, see how this... Wow, dude. Look at the damage, dude. I, I can't get over that. Oh my goodness. Actually, hold on. There might be a way to cheese him right here. What the hell was that? Did you see that? My mag is warped to another dimension. Where'd he go? He died. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But uh, we won somehow. We're gonna head to the perfect capital now. Um, what is that? Waffle crisps. That sounds really, really good, bro. Let's see if this guy drops anything else. It looks like it doesn't. That's a damn shame. Alright. Which way do we go first? A 
That's where we came from. It was like branching past right here. Okay, no, no, no. Now we're not going this way. This is the intended path, so let's go the other way first. By the way, if you guys are here and noticing mic issues, I do apologize for that. Something like that I'm gonna have to fix offline. fell right there. The other way. See, do we still get no we don't no toxic from the waters Spite ring. This is so easy to explore. I have to worry about the toxic. Very good. We need to like the pucks. Do that.
purging stills. That's it, huh? Let's see Eleonora real quick. Okay. Does a uh, dark damage. It's got decent scaling. Okay. Got potential. Yeah, it's got potential. Oh, by the way, there's like another NPC over here. Uh, Isa, let's go here first. These guys do not play at all, dude. Holy cow. All right. Good to know. Now we know what we're dealing with. <laughs> what up, Survivor? How are you, bro? I'm glad you noticed. I'm glad you noticed. But as you can see, it didn't really matter with, with uh, that enemy there. Once they had me for lunch, it was over. All right. Time for some uh, speed strats. Get back over there. Steven, thank you for that uh, $2 donut. Proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, my friend. Is there ever going to be a Dark Souls 4? Man, there's like zero commentary regarding that survivor, unfortunately. It, like you know what I would like to see. I would like to see a prequel to Dark Souls. That's that's what I would like. I would like to see a game that takes place during the Age of Fire in um, in uh, and Orlando. That'd be pretty awesome. But that's what I want. Whether or not it will happen. Chelsea, bro. <laughs> What's crazy is that you know, they asked me, Zach, whether or not there would be, like, a, for example, like an Elder Ring 2. He actually said flat, straight up, like, there, there are no plans to actually do an Elden Ring 2. So, so if they're not even thinking about Elden Ring 2, I doubt that Dark Souls 4 is even like, you know, like a thought for them right now. Yeah, yeah, technically three is, three is it, you know, three is it, technically. You know, it, it, it's like three is where you come to understand what Dark Soul is. My plans for Elder Ring DLC, well, bro, 
I am going to absolutely enjoy the crap out of that one. Um, I'm going to play it day one. That's my plan. And yeah, I'm going to play it uh, blind like I always do and thought something. But yeah, bro, I can't wait. I can't wait. I actually already pre-ordered the game, so I'm ready to rock, my friend. Oh, do I do stuff with the community? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I will be playing online. So, if anybody who has it... Well, see, here's, here's the thing that sucks about Elden Ring. Like, PvP and co-op. Is that you gotta you got have a PC. Like, like there's, there's no uh, cross-platforming. So, it's hard for me to play with a lot of people. And, obviously, I bought it for PC. So, if you don't have a PC... We won't be able to do like any any type of uh collaborations you know that's what sucks i would like to though that'd be freaking awesome good night Logan scroll. But if anybody's playing a PC, you could definitely do like some PvP and some co-oping. But usually I'll do that after I do my blind playthrough. You something, bro? If you have like minimum like uh i think if you, if you have minimum like a 20 not a 2080 you probably need a, at least like a 3080 graphics card and you'll be able to play it like in 4k well actually it depends with what, what kind of resolution are you trying to play it on are you trying to do are you, are you trying to play 4k or are you trying to do like 1080p because if you're just trying to do like 1080p I'm pretty sure you could play Elden Ring like on a. I'm trying to think. Yeah, like a, like a 2080 graphics card, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you got a sweet monitor. Like, what's the uh, resolution on it? Oh, you got monitors. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> I like that plan, Survivor. I like that plan. That's a good one right there. Ah, oh, you are a saint. Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Siegfried of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. Take this, a token of my thanks. Go on, it's all yours. Nice. Ah, no, please. Go on ahead. I've my own road to take and a duty to fulfill. That is soon. Ah, no, please. Go on ahead. I've my own road to take and a duty to fulfill. That is soon. Is up the survivor? It's uh, the same voice actor. But their names are actually slightly different. This guy right here, I think it's Sigmire. And then the other one is, um, is Sigmire and yeah, I forget the other one. But supposedly it, it may not be the same guy.
Oh, nice, nice, nice. nice. How big is it? Do you, do, do you at least know the inches? How big is it? Pause. Before you answer that. Alright, nothing. Alright, let's go. Yo, what up, Cataclysm? How are you, bro? Oh, they brought back Alexander to the DLC. You know, something that would be pretty awesome because I actually do like Alexander. Alexander's freaking awesome. Definitely one of the uh, one of the best NPCs in Elder Ring. Oh, the fat guy you just talked to? Uh, I'm trying to think. I can't think of a, a fat dude that we talked to in Elder Ring. Oh, you're talking about Sigmire. Oh, Onion Bro? It's supposed to make an appearance in Elden Ring? That would be pretty awesome, actually. I, w I wonder how they would introduce him, though. That, that I, like, I, I can actually see them doing it because... You know, obviously it brought Patches back. So if they could bring Patches, they could definitely bring Onion Bro. You know what we should do? Let's go back to Firelink real quick and see if we can level up. Yeah, I know gold mass. I know gold mass. What's the theory with him? Oh, and the trailer? You said I would have to go back and look at that. That was like an item over here. This is not. Oh my god. Why does that look so awful? Look at, look at that. That lighting effect is unbelievably annoying.
Like, there's been, like, a lot of theories out there regarding DLC, but in reality, there's really not much that we know or understand at this point. There really isn't. So we know Mesmer. He's one of the main bosses, obviously. We know... Uh, who else? Who else is there? Oh, Nicola. Obviously, he's there. Look at his rules in the movie. But it's hard to make any definitive conclusions because, man, FromSoft is known to go in many different directions. Oh, really, Sigmire? You said I, I don't remember seeing Sigmire in the in the uh, in the trailer. I, w I would have remember that. Or, or, or unless you're saying that there's like somebody that looks like him, or somebody that's that's reminiscent of Sigmar, I will I will have to go back and look at it because, quite frankly, like the trailer, I probably watched it maybe only twice, maybe no no I watched I watched like three four times I didn't watch it that many times, so I, I will have to go back and look at it and actually look for that see if I see if I notice it. The guy praying in front of the jars. No. I gotta go back. Like, I, I only watched the trailer, like, the first day. And like I said, I watched it a few times. Well, a handful of times. And I haven't gone back, so. Yeah, I gotta go back and look at it, bro. And, and, and I know they're, they're actually planning on releasing, like, another trailer. At least that's what I heard. I read that they're supposed to like, release another one. But I, but I may actually skip uh, skip it. Just to not, not, you know, just to prevent myself from spoiling anything. Or having, or having anything spoiled. And yeah, I'm into the lore. Absolutely, I'm into the lore. I know, like, one of the biggest theories is regarding Mesmer, and it's speculated that he may be actually America's son, which is very, very possible. He may be related to both America and Radagon because of the uh, the red hair. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean this weapon is great against these regular enemy types. All right, these are both mimics. This one is not. Ember. There's like a lot of mimics in this freaking area. Ooh, that kick, dude. Right. Great shield of glory. That may actually be good in this mod, we'll see. that it did like a 180 spin on me get away get away oh. 
Whoa. Alright, somehow I survived. Beautiful. Alright. I think that just about covers it, so. Let's go check out our boy. Hmm. Alright, I do know that he does flame damage, so. I don't. Yeah, let's equip some flame protection. I got a feeling that's going to be a thing. Excellence. And then weapon wise. Is that we'll keep this. All right, let's give it a let's give it the old college try. There's our bro, onion bro. Young, old friend. I, Siegfried of the Knights of Katarina. Have come to uphold my promise. Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. No, I will, Steven. I'm gonna watch it again later. Let's just get invisible. Stunned by the uh, yeah, this gets stunned. Oh, so we gotta fight a fair square this time around. He does get staggered. Bros no more, dude. That sucks. I always like when you survive. That sucks. That would be bad too. What up, Sagan? How are you, bro? How are you? Damn. Onion Bro died. Actually, does he come back? No, I don't think he does. I think if he dies in the fight, he he stays dead. That sucks. Not a bad first attempt, though. Alright, I did learn something, though. We gotta equip this. Oh, this is so annoying. Let's 
like a, like a solar flare. Right your face. So yeah, Sombro stays dead. That sucks. I did pay for that. Sucks that you can't do repos on bosses in this game. the crap out of me right there he hit me with the attack and the freaking uh and the weapon oh i mean the, the blood loss and the weapon that's unfortunate like so unnecessary go 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 If you if you see your roll, that's because I'm expecting him to attack. Sometimes I'd be able to hit him by the face and it, it, it does look like this stun.
I gotta stop blocking. Let's see. Um, let me try a different weapon. I wonder if Wolnir's weapon will do more damage. I'll try it out. <laughs> You'd be all right, Steven. Uh, Sagan can can take a joke, bro. S Sagan actually calls me his uh, prostitute. Because of my, my strats against uh, Melania. Time for some damage comparisons. Let's see how this does. Wow! Look at that! I'm impressed already. I'm gonna be close to him. That was really, really good. That's awesome. So the range isn't uh, that good, though, but with his hands. Look at that. That's fantastic. Yeah, this, this, this is great. Look at that. Beautiful. Something about the AOE effect of this buff that actually rocks his freaking face. <laughs> That's funny, Sagan. Look at that beautiful, beautiful. Let me stun them. Fantastic. Strikes. Follow. Oh my goodness. So the the hitbox on that thing is a little too good. Yeah, look at that. I, dude, like I was supposed to still hit me. Beautiful. Love this stuff. I 
unfortunately. But I get excited when I stop. So. There are no impossible bosses. Dude, yeah, the hitbox is so weird, dude. Hitbox makes no sense, man. Suck on that for a while, bastard. Gonna make you pay price for it to get out of somewhere. I think I'm like it. Yeah, the hitbox is weird on that second phase. We definitely have the right tool for the, the right tool for the job. No, no, in this mod, um, weapon arts do not use FP, which is really, really nice. So you, so you can abuse weapon arts, like, constantly. It's a nice little perk. Is, is fine. <laughs> Omen Baron. Bro. Omen Baron was happy. It's a special place in my heart. The tracking is just so good when he does that stupid attack, man. Hitboxes. My man just has floating hitboxes.
but Box. Yeah, I, I don't trust it at all, so I, all I'm doing now is just, I'm just gonna get away. So it's like sweet. Create some space. You get in there, strike, just back away. Let's see if it does this. Wow. Alright, that one's actually good. He did a, what was it, like a four-hit combo? Something that he never does. We're gonna get him, we're gonna get him. We're close, we're very, very close. Yeah, bro. Unfortunately, Sigmar died on those. Actually, I, I wish, man, if I, if I would have known this strat, like from the beginning, we, prob we probably would have been able to save him. It's unfortunate. Onion bro has left the boat. He's not coming back. Not for another playthrough. Two of those hits were complete nonsense, man. I was like nowhere near his weapon, and he freaking wrecked me. I was, I was like all the way behind him. Switch this or this. I need more endurance. <sighs> Let's 
Let us try again. Let's have a more stamina. That sack away. Then we get away with the wonky hitboxes. Yeah. Yeah. That attack right is like the worst one. Say again, dude, how did that hit you right there? No one near this way. I horn the sphinx. That's. <laughs> I love that line. It's legendary. stamina. Only Onion Bro was here to witness the cheese fire. He would be really proud of this thing. But now, with him gone, it's just not as satisfying. Dude, this guy has a lot of freaking health. Tons of freaking help. Dude, it's like never ending. Each one of those does 2300 damage. Spin like a maniac. You couldn't believe it. <laughs> if, if only Sagan, Sagan was here, Ant, he would be so proud of us.
I, I always hated it when you get pulled like this. Prince Lothric, it's in your hands. It's like, bro, let me let me grab like my rewards before you warp me out of here. Please save his soul. Save Prince Lothric's soul? I don't think so. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna freaking steal. We're gonna we're gonna like destroy his soul. That's what we're All right. I don't want to talk to her, but because if, if we talk to her, that activates the fight. And we got way too many souls in the line here. So here's what we're going to do instead. We are going to warp out of here. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then touch the take nourishment. All right, let's level up. So focusing on Dax here. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. It is uh, twelve twenty-five a.m. Stephen. Pretty late, bro. Pretty late. Eventually, this is the one I want to use. We're still not worthy, though. Let's re equip this. Change a couple of things here. Oh, okay. You're in the East Coast, huh, Steven? Collect. Um, let's go back here. We're just gonna grab the item that was dropped. Yorm dropped something, but you know, we were forced out of the arena. All North Carolina. Nice, nice. I actually want to visit North Carolina. I would like to visit actually many states on the East Coast. North Carolina, Florida. Never been to New York. That sucks. So the item that he dropped disappeared. That's unfortunate. Uh, which tournament, Steven? Are you talking about like uh, like college basketball? Or are you talking about like actual tennis? Alright, damn that sucks. Alright, whatever was dropped is gone forever. Let's get out of here. Let's go free somebody's soul. Let's just go to Lothric. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at this, the glitch is back. Right, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Let's uh let's equip warriors. Oh, Elden Ring tourneys. What kind of Elden Ring tourneys, bro? I didn't know there was uh, any Elden Ring tournaments going around. All right, avoid the blinding lights. Sega, you missed it, bro. You missed the moment that you would have been very, very proud to witness. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that's pretty cool, bro. That's pretty cool. I, I bet you those fights go on forever. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be a lord. There she goes. All right, this is where we get uh, invaded. Catch up on pizza. You said I've seen people do that before. Not really my thing. Fifty and under an hour and a half. Actually, you said that it, that is pretty fast. I was thinking that it would take long, only because like games like Dark Souls and Elder Ring is actually very difficult to get hit if uh, you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like like all attacks are dodgeable. That, that's why I was thinking that it would might take forever to actually deal damage. Are you kidding me, dude? I need to switch my weapon. It doesn't do uh, no damage. Big glitch is still here. Oh, yeah, the damage is uh, significant, much, much better. By some much, oh, it's a toxic. Dude, what's up with this stupid glitch? How can we get rid of it? You something? Let's uh, let's see if we can start the game over. 
Maybe that might remove it. I'm going to quit altogether. What up, Eamon? How are you, bro? Good to see you. Ah. Ugh. That is horrible, dude. This graphical glitch is so annoying. All right, what what other options do we have besides this? Oh, my health bar smaller probably because i'm not embered i bet you that's why let's equip that hmm. this sucks dude what an awful glitch Debating what weapon to use. Um, should we just wear this? I wish we could just use this, but the time isn't right yet. Actually, do I have something? Use my stamina, or my dex, I should say. I do have this thing right here? Nope. I'm so short by four. Is there anything else? Nope. All right. What about gear? No. I'm looking for hidden buffs here. Oh, wait a minute. I found something. Oh, okay. The painting, the painting guardian gown. Look at that. All right, there you go. Ooh, look at that. Very fancy. I like that. So let's see. So I do 1,200 dark damage. And look at that. The, the, the fume Ultra Great Sword still does more damage, though. More base damage. Then again, I did level level it up. Let's go with this. Ooh, 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 I like that. That's awesome. Oh, you, you dare block that? I don't think so. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, we're going to have some fun with this. Let's see. Can you great shoot block the mighty strike? Apparently not. Apparently you don't know how to use your shield. Let's, let's freaking do it. Um, yeah, let's go. Oh, you're right, Steven. Right. 
Well, let's see. Let's see how much damage happens we do compared to the Volmir Sword. Oh my goodness. It is much better, actually. Ooh, look at that. The Spin Tag hits twice and does 3,500 damage. That is very, very nice. Let's see, how much does this do by itself? 4,500, dude. That's awesome. Look at this. Oh, that's awesome. That's a good place right here. Take that. Oh no, it's all good. It's all good. Like I said, we're not right now. We're just kind of experimenting. It's all good. We're having fun right now. Look at that splat! Awesome. I should go back and wreck you. I'm not gonna do that. Give and forget. Oh, come on, man. Where's my roll? Yikes. I, I got a little carried away there so you saw if i just stick to doing like two r1s that's that's just as great two r1s that that's five thousand damage at least and it's much safer Is there? Let me see. We'll test it out for science. No, she just takes like a champ, bro. Smack that boot in. Ow. She bounces back to hits you. She went, she went crazy on me. All right, so phase two, she does uh, significantly more damage. She does like 50% damage. Again. 
dude. Does that spin attack? The timing, the timing is a little weird on that. It's a little weird. The the hit the hitbox is is not like the the regular game. It's slightly different. All right, that's fine. We're gonna figure this out. Get a buff properly. I'm hoping I won't need to use the shield. We'll see. Let me try again. We'll see. We'll see. I may bust it out. Ah, uh, rolled too early, dude. Oh, wow, I actually stunned her. That's dope. I didn't think it was possible. generous No, actually, Sagan would be like, bro, why are you using a sword? Bust out the fist, bro. Don't you have any fist weapons? That would be Sagan. <laughs> Let's see, so I'm bust out the shield. The phase two, so I don't know. It's kind of weird with the. Uh... Right, we can actually one hand this, so that's good. The phase two, she goes freaking ham. She can hit you from. It seems like she, she can hit you from almost like any uh any range.
the hell happened there? Oh damn, I can't see, dude. See, they can start getting cracked. Damn. So her her attacks are like super wonky, man. You know, like her movement is so weird. It's hard. It's hard to time the uh, the dodges. Now, unfortunately, the shield doesn't protect you from the toxic, so you still get hit by that. Yeah, like I would get her stuck behind the pillars. If I'm trying to create space, I, I think that's what will come in handy. Especially when she's spinning around. I can move I can, I can back there. Then that spinning attack does significant uh, poise damage. It's not working anymore. Our luck has run out. Oh, you son of a... How dare you reach me like that? Oh, dude, I can't see her. You cannot dodge, but you can't see. going dude nice job She gets you like in this stun lock sometimes. Super annoying. Man, 
finish her. Good night. You'll be dancing no more. She dropped. That night slap. Very, very nice. Actually, that's probably what Yorm dropped. You know, when we got warped out of there, because he dropped an item too. And unfortunately, we missed our reward there. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Appreciate it. By the way, guys, does, does my mic still sound um, staticky? Is it still doing that? Or did it finally go away? Oh, it still is? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look into that off, uh, once I'm, I'm offline. Very frustrating. Awesome. They welcome us with open arms, apparently. Oh, 860,000 souls. Oh, that's fantastic as well. Very cool. All right, guys, you know something? That's going to do it for me tonight. Thank you so much for joining me in this uh, late night stream. And I do apologize for my mic issues. I promise you that it will have to resolve by my next stream. Uh, I'm, I'm going to focus on, do on fixing that tomorrow. Hopefully. If I could get to the source, because I don't know, honestly, I don't know what it is, like, in my settings that actually makes that happen. So, I'm, I'm going to look into that. All right, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for hanging out. And if you happen to be catching this stream, please feel free to follow me or subscribe. I do stream live on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Rumble, and Kick. And you can also hit me up directly on my social media on Discord, Facebook, and Twitter. For our guys later ant later steven have a good night guys and yeah i do hope to catch you guys on the next one bye 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 bye